This is gonna be our biggest episode ever. Today, I'm gonna to be making over 100 shirts using our CHT2-1506 six head and our CHT2-1504 a four head for a combined 10 head total. However, before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we're producing our next video. We recently received a large last minute 100 bulk crew neck t-shirt order through our sister company Garmio. In order to do this, we're gonna have to work as efficiently as possible. Rakoma's CHT2 series is specifically designed to help embroiderers maximize their efficiency when embroidering large bulk orders. Since we have 10 heads, we're gonna need 20 hoops. While 10 are being embroidered, 10 will be hooped ready to go so that by the time one is done, we put the next one and we just keep the cycle going. We'll be doing a left chest logo that's approximately three inches in diameter. The stitch count is 11,500, which is gonna take approximately 13 minutes on the machine at 800 stitches per minute. I've allotted an extra two minutes per shirt, so within three to four hours to get everything done. We need to have these done by the end of the day, so we need to get to work. To help us get the measurements on the shirt and the correct placement of the design, we're gonna be using this embroidery helper here. But I have a little tip for you as well. We're gonna place the embroidery helper just right on the shirt. The center is gonna follow the center seam, and the edge is gonna go right on the collar. Instead of using a marker to mark the shirt, I'm gonna use a little green dot to let me know where it should be placed. And this is something that I only have to do one time. We're gonna start by putting our bottom hoop into the hooping station. We open up these little doors, trap doors if you will, and we're gonna take our pre-cut stabilizer and put it in place and close the doors shut. These little things are gonna hold them, they're magnetic. Now we're gonna take our shirt and we're gonna stretch it over the top of this. I'm gonna pull the shirt down until the shoulder lines are right on the edge of the frame. This way I know I have it the same every single time. Notice that the center of the hoop is here, but I need to be down here. So all I have to do is just gently lift this up and bring it down until it matches the center of the green dot and just place it down. So now I know every time I put a shirt, the collar is gonna have to be in line with the G. And let's take a look at the number. It's the number 31 that shows through the window. And now every time I put a shirt, all I have to do is make sure that my shoulders are in line to make sure that the shirt is not tilted and that the G is, the line on the G is coming the inside of the collar. And this lines me up to the very center of the hoop. So I take my hoop with the little notch facing forward because that's how I'm gonna put it in the machine. Put this like that, my stabilizer is ready, and I push it down. The Mighty Hoop Hooping Station is a big game changer. It's gonna save us a lot of time to make sure that the design comes out on the same spot on each shirt, each and every time the same way. So that you don't catch the collar, clear the area, make sure, do a, do a final check, make sure everything is nice and neat. Yeah. So we've loaded the design on the CHT26 ahead and we're gonna do the same thing to this one. You go to the design, you're gonna pick it from the machine. We already imported it from the USB into the machine and it's the Rebel. Once you click it, you can just go select it's gonna ask you to take it on and off in embroidery mode. You click yes, it's gonna load up the design. Once the image is loaded, you're gonna hit escape, and now we have our image on the screen. At this point, it's just a matter of tracing the design, or we could pick the hoop first. So we're gonna to go to settings, and you would pick the C hoop, click OK, the machine is gonna articulate. At this point, we're gonna to go to our color, which is the next step. We're gonna use just one color per design. We're gonna do white shirts, so we're gonna use the black color. And on this machine, the color is one. So we've already selected the color here, and we're gonna escape. Now the design is loaded, the color is loaded, the hoop is loaded. We have our, our speed at 800, and we can make that vary or lessen throughout the process, but right now I'm just gonna pick 800 for the time being. The final step we have to do to make sure that the design is in the hoop is we're gonna trace. We're gonna hit the trace button, we're gonna move the frame along the design range, and hit yes, and now it's going to articulate. Now let's begin. All right guys, it's on. 
While these batches are embroidering, I'm gonna take advantage of the time and hoop all the other shirts. So we're gonna be doing a batch of 10 at a time. These are embroidering, those are being hooped. As soon as they're done, we kind of swap them and do it all over again. It appears that the thread slipped out of this needle. The head is blinking red, so that's how I know which one of them is giving me a problem. So it's just gonna be a matter of re-threading the needle. Now the cool thing about these CHT2s is that you see there's a start and stop button right here. Uh, normally on a single head, you would have to float the design back a little bit to rewind it. On this, we're gonna do the same thing, but we can do it right from where we stand. Typically what you would do is, uh, I would do a trim, but since I'm far away from the machine, I'm gonna hit the stop button. It's gonna rewind the image a little bit. Now, a really cool thing about this is that all the other needles are gonna stay put until they catch up with this one, and then they're all gonna engage. So when I hit start, I'm gonna hold on to the thread. And once it's in, I can just snap it off. And now all the other machines are in synchrony with this one. The first batch is all done. While we're waiting for this one to embroider, I'm gonna cut the backing off of these. In order not to cut the shirt, I like to hold the backing up like this so that the fabric falls down and just cut across it. You don't wanna get too close. For the black shirts, I'm gonna be using two layers of black stabilizer. Depending on the amount of stitches or how big the stitches are in your design, a typical bobbin will last anywhere between 30 to 35,000 stitches. So I still have a little bit left, but I have more shirts to do. Uh, we're all done with the white ones. This one gave me about three and a half designs or three designs I had switched before. But now to do the black ones, we're gonna start with fresh bobbins all over again to make sure we don't get any interruptions while we're embroidering. During this time, if you haven't oiled the machine already, go ahead and take this opportunity to do so. Each four hours of use, the machine should be oiled in the rotary hook area. Otherwise, just do it in the beginning of the morning and you're good to go. We just finished all the white shirts. We're transitioning to black. But on the black shirts, we're gonna use white thread. So this is where we're gonna change the white thread. We're only still using just one color. And my white thread is on my number one. So I'm gonna pick white thread for the white shirt, which is the number two, second color, number two. So there it is, and we hit OK. That'll seal it in and escape. Make sure you do the same thing on the second machine.
four had just finished. We're just waiting for the six head to be done and we are done. Alright guys, it's time to get it all packed up. Alright, they're all in here. I'm going to take them to the shipping department so we can ship them out. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for future content. I also encourage you to go back and check out our most recent episode where I teach you how to make an embroidered puff sublimated hat. The link to the video will be in the description below. Below, you'll also find a link to our CHT2 series product page as well as our Hoopmaster starter kit and our all-in-one Hooper Pro on our online store. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next embroidery project or want more decorative advice, check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and printing business help group. If you haven't done so already, follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Also, if you have any ideas for future content, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.